Good morning, Michael Schulz. First of all, let me thank you for joining us today at AI. It's a real pleasure. Thank you. Uh, the subject of your lecture today regards the co-creation of the brands in this kind of uh, new multi-directional approach between a relationship between the brands and the stakeholders. I think it's fair to say that in co-creation you are talking about uh, involving your stakeholders in the way you design and innovate and deliver your brand. Um, I think it grew out of a lot of innovation studies, but it has become broader. Yeah. So I think in short, it's, it's new ways in which you really take the dialogue, the stakeholder dialogue seriously. And the stakeholders can become active part of the creation process, depending on what kind of company and what kind of products and services. Can we somehow imagine some management tools or structures inside a company that can allow a company to proactively and constantly look for this opportunity or either to manage these opportunities. So you have to learn to listen to your stakeholders and all to take their criticism seriously. Yeah. Because stakeholders are not just there to please the company, they are there to engage and also influence the company. So you have to realize and be ready to engage more of a two-way dialogue. What are the main risks that a company should take into account before going towards this co-creation approach? The first thing is when you, when you start to be online, uh, I think we have seen that in many situations, you, can have, you are more exposed to uh, these outcries of negative, negativity. That is a phenomenon of the social media, but you can say if you engage in co-creation, you are more expected to answer and reply and take action. And every time you open up, there's a risk of misuse. And it goes actively, it goes both ways. Because the company can feel uh, misused by the fans, by disloyalty, and the fans can feel robbed or exploited by the company. By, they're stealing their ideas and stealing their creativity. How far, in your opinion, are we now in considering the branding issue, the corporate communication issues, uh, as an essential part of the business of a company? I wish I would, could say I think we are all the way there. Um, and I certainly think that the importance, the recognized importance of stakeholder management through social media particularly, has moved communication closer to the core of the business. So I think and you can say telephone companies. There are a lot of companies uh, that have realized over the last couple of years that the importance of communication because otherwise consumers react. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.